In this tutorial, I want to teach you how to resolve calculation issues when you have tables in your data model that are not directly related. So what do I mean by this? Let's look at this example and you will be able to understand it. So here I have two tables. I have one table which has my sales. So we have the date, the item sold, then we have the number of the customer and how much I sold. So for each customer number, we have another table which gives me the country that belongs to this customer. So I've loaded everything up in a model and I have this with a calendar. So what happens now is that my calendar is connected through date to my sales table and my sales customer number is connected to the customer table where we have the country via this column. Now the challenge is I would like for every month that I have here to know to how many unique countries did I sell. So as you can see, this table is not directly related to the other table. It is related through the sales table. So how to do this? Now you can try and if you go back to your Excel table, you have here a pivot table that I've inserted and I have put the months that comes from my calendar table. So I can say, okay, this is the country. Let's put the count of country here. Here it's just the normal count of country. So I'm just gonna select the distinct count. And you can see that now we have 97. The problem is that I got 97 for every month, which is not correct. So what it did basically, it just went to my data model it went to the country table, it counted the unique countries that I have there, which are 97, and it added them for every month. And that's not what I want. So how to solve this problem? Well, the best way to solve it is to use a measure that has the calculate formula. So let me show you how to do this. So we're gonna go to the sales table, right click, add measure, and here we're gonna call the measure unique country and we're gonna write calculate we're gonna use the formula distinct count of what so we have our country which is in the customer table comma and then here we have the filters. So we had the expression, which is normal, distinct count of countries. What should I use as a filter? Well, here is the trick. You can use the name of the intermediate table, which is the sales table. So if I put here TB sales, which is the sales table, and then I close my parenthesis, I check my formula. There is no error. Let's have a number whole number and say use 1000 separator although it's not going to make a difference and we say okay so now we have this measure if we just put it here you can see that I get the right count so let's remove this and let's look at it so what happened here basically I got calculated the distinct count of countries and I said that please have my TB sales as a filtering table. So now the relationship went through from this to this, and then it went to country. And this is why I'm getting the right information. To show you this with a normal pivot table, so I'm just gonna copy paste this. And here, what we're gonna do instead of this measure, we're just gonna remove it. So let's put the countries in the rows and let's change the format of this. You can go to design and then you have report layout, show in tabular form. Then you have this. So for January, you can see all the countries, right? Now, what should I do here? I can, for example, use the sales, which is just a dummy thing. So sales is the number of items I sold. So I can put them here. It's just going to sum them. And you can see that suddenly, instead of having all my countries that I had before, now it will aggregate them. So let's remove this and let's check. So here you can see I have around 
I have my 97 unique countries. As soon as I put the sales, now this list of country reduces because it's aggregating and it reduces to 40. And those are the 40 countries that I have here. So basically, my calculate measure did what I showed you, but just in one measure, and you get the right information. How can I do this in a different way? Another way to do this, if you don't want to create a measure like this, is to go back to your data model. So we're going to go to manage. And here, if I go to my data view, I can go to my sales table and add a column. In this column, what I can write is equal related. So what I'm doing is basically I am bringing the country column from the customer table to the sales table. So here I have it. So TB customer country, and then we close the parenthesis, enter. So you can see now we have a calculated column with the country of every customer. So I'm just going to call it calc call. And then if I go to my data model, I have my new column here. If I go back to my pivot table, now if I just go to my sales table, I have my calculated column. I put it next to it. Now it's not yet distinct. So we can just select it and go here and do distinct count. And you can see that we have the same numbers. The problem with this approach is that you are increasing your data in the data model. So if you have a lot of data, your file can start to become heavy. Another way to do this is to create another measure and use something called cross filter. So let's try it out and let me show you how it works. So I'm going to do add measure. Let's call it here M1 just for simplicity. And let's do equal calculate, open the parentheses, the same thing. We do distinct count, the same drill, and then we're going to select the country. So this is the country from the customer table. After that, we just close the parentheses and we need to do the filter. So here we can use cross filter, which is this one. And then in cross filter, there are three elements, the name of the left column, the right column and the cross filter type. The left column is basically the column that I have in my first table. Right column is the column I have in my second table. And then we have the cross filter. So what are my columns? If you remember, those two tables are connected with my customer number, right? So here I have TB customer number comma, I have in TB sales customer number, comma, and then for the relationship, I'm going to do both. So it goes both ways. This way we won't have any problems in the calculation. And then we can just close this cross filter and then close this expression. Check it. It is fine. Number, we do a whole number and then we can say, okay. So now we have our new measure. Let's just put it here. And you can see that I have the same numbers. The only problem with this is that the grand total comes incorrect. In grand total, you will see all the unique countries that are in my customer tables, which are 97. So here you have to be careful when you are using this approach because your grand total will not help you. So either you have to remove it or be cognizant of the fact that it's not working. In summary, my recommendation is go with option one. It's the cleanest way and it will not increase your data in your data model. Please let me know in the comment section which approach you prefer and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.